Welcome to Let's Fly in VFR, I'm Gunny and today I wanted to take you through some of my favourite simulators. I love all sorts of simulators and I've been playing sims since back in the 1980s. My favourite ones currently are certainly X-Plane 11. I've had a go at, at P3D version 3 and found that really good. I thought that was really excellent and certainly a step forward from FSX. Today we also have Dovetail Games version of FSX now available and I believe that's a lot better than it was so um, if you want to get into fighter sims and I've been I've got a long history with fighters I'm an ex Air Force tech and I love them I've worked on F-18s, F-111s, Mirage 3s and uh, I worked outside the Air Force on tornadoes in the Middle East and I just love them we had stealth fighters there as well the 117s they were there when I was in the Middle East, and that's during the period of uh, both those little fracas that we had. And um, F-15s, both the C version, the E version was also there, or the S version. If you, can, if you know where that is, then you know where I was. And uh, there was so much there. So simulation, no matter what, is always been a passion. So let me take you through the sims that I have currently on, this, on my sim on my computer and um, share with me your thoughts what do you think is uh, is the best sim and this again it's not about who's better than who it's not all sims like all cars all aircraft have a reason to be and they're all different for every different person so let's not make about mine's better than yours but what do you love about yours leave it in the comments below leave me a comment Leave me a like, and if you really like what I've been doing, then feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's go have a look and see what's in here. Well, welcome to Falcon BMS. This is 4.33 uh, with uh, four of the five updates I think at the moment and we're in the F-16 Fighting Falcon. This is a quite new uh, map. This one's a new Baltic map and it's a lot higher resolution than a lot of the other maps um, that have previously been available. Although there are some updates from uh, providers Coffee. like Tom. Coffee. Tom is uh, responsible for this I believe and an updated um, Korean theater as well the HD Korean and um, updates to the um, aircraft as well to make it look a little bit more used so we're certainly hoofing along the ground pretty quickly here you can see how smooth it is um, and it, you know I think it looks a lot better in real you can see some of the effects there we get wing flex and the uh, low pressure and we're blacking out a little bit here at the moment as we uh, pull a few G's on the 16. In Falcon BMS, you can fly any of the aircraft. You can fly 15s, you can fly tornadoes, you can fly SUs, you can fly MiGs, whatever you want. Um, they all have their own cockpits now. A lot of it is based from the generic parts of the uh, the F-16 but it just means you can play the Russian side or you can play the American or British or whatever you want. Uh, mirages if you like Mirages um, I do had to spend a few years working on them so all the systems within uh, Falcon BMS are very well modeled so um, if you want to start right from scratch engines off then you've got a bit of learning to do but that's what they do in many of the sims i see a lot of the guys in dss dcs sorry doing that as well so there's falcon bms it's plane 11 so if you haven't seen x plane 11 previously you're in for a well i think a bit of an eye-opener it's such a great sim this is Adelaide International Airport in Australia this is where I live we're going to do a quick circuit I've cut it down a fair bit but I really want to show you a couple of things particularly uh, the scenery once we get off 
This is one of the add-on aircraft um, that's available from xplane.org. This is the Lancair. It's beautiful. A few different liveries, high definition uh, textures, and just enormous fun to fly. The other thing I wanted to show you as well, um, we're going to fly around over the sea, and here's the model from the outside, and you can also look back across Adelaide and down here is a popular place where a lot of people come in the uh, in the summer. Uh, we've got some boats. There's actually an aircraft carrier out here somewhere. But you can see the reflection in the water. You can see the sky textures. And a lot of this can be modified if you wish. X-Plane 11 uses Lua scripts. So they're little, little small um, add-ons that you can put into the add-ons file and um, you can change sky colors and change thing around but this is one of the things that really shows up x-plane 11 and that's the hdr lighting and at the moment i have both the uh, textures and the effects maxed out and this should be in dsr's version of 4k i found that um, setting my system at 4k but then allowing the allowing explain to run in a default monitor setting has given me the advantages of the higher resolution but it doesn't seem to have taxed the system like it did when I selected the uh, the high highest DSR that I can get here in X plane so maybe something you'd like to try tell me whether it works for you but down the loading here just really excellent so let's move on and have a look at DCS, which is another really great sim that I'm very new to. I've only just downloaded. So let's have a look. And here we are in DCS in the Su-25 ground attack. This is the A-10 version uh, of a Russian aircraft, if you like. This is their ground attack aircraft. Now I've got the um, face track no idea no IR running so I'm able to have a look around you can see the quality of the textures here um, really very nice as well it's just beautiful the quality of the cockpits and everything here now you can download this for free you get the Su-25 and the P-51 of which you can fly around and uh, do all the training missions get used to it all but then you can add on maps from uh, Nevada and all over the place as you can back in BMS as well it has a whole range of add-on maps you can download the difference between BMS and this one and I'm not picking on DCS because the quality of the, what's turned out is just fantastic is uh, the BMS stuff is generally free um, but you can just see the quality the textures the um, the 3d buildings and everything here and the quality uh, of this and you need to learn all the systems in here guys so if you want to be a fighter jock you can they have mirage 2000s f18s are due to come out i think i just saw some slats missing i think i broke something i did notice that previously so here we go zipping across the ground so you get a real feel for the um the speed that these things can do so uh, you need to learn all your systems as i say to be really good so you need the training uh, training missions do those and um, that's something I'm going to have to do because it's just a lot to learn. But it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun as well. So you can go and choose World War II aircraft and World War II scenarios you can download. Most are not super expensive. Um, but at least you can have a look and see how it runs on your system and see if it's something you want to uh, sink your teeth into. And there's a lot of online... Uh, flying with uh, DCS um, Falcon BMS has it and you can fly with your mates in uh, uh, X-Plane as well so there's options no matter which sim you choose but I hope you've enjoyed having a quick look through uh, one of my favorite sims currently um, I have F1 car racing as well don't tell anybody but I really love my Formula 1. So until next time, leave me a comment if you're new. Please subscribe. And until next time, we'll catch you here again on Let's Fly VFR. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.
supply. Subscribe, like and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you.